So while I'm answering these, if you have a question beyond the beyond the ones that I'm going to answer, chat them in. I'm seeing I'm seeing some right now. First off, uh, Chris typed in. He said, "Is being 35 years old too late to get into networking? I've got some IT background, but I have been mining for the last 10 years, and now I'd like to get into networking. Starting with uh, N plus, like currently studying, and then I'm going to go into CCNA, CCDA, maybe some cybersecurity. What's what's the thought?" Um, I would say that is up to you, uh, Chris. And, and what what I mean by that is I've actually met um, a lot of people. And let me first off say my template answer uh, before I met a lot of people is like, oh, no, it's never too late. Anybody can jump into uh, IT. Um, but I started meeting some people, and I'm like, for you, <laughs> don't, don't need to take this the wrong way. But I'm like, for you, it's too late. And it's not it's not the person. Like I'm I'm looking at the person. And I'm going, you are fully capable of doing it, but you're looking for it to be handed to you, if that, if that makes sense. I, and I'm, I'm trying to find a, a, a good way to word this. I'm just being real. I mean, I, like, I'm, I've talked to people. They've, they've got a lot of experience. And because they feel like they have a lot of experience in whatever field, like Chris, you were saying mining. Um, other people are like, oh, well, I've, you know, I've, I've even been in technology. I've been doing uh, mainframes or PBXs or whatever. Um, and they're like, I want to get into IT, but they expect that it's just going to be like, oh, yeah. Yeah, no, just, yeah, just you know, come on in, and and uh, and it's all just laid out because you've been working for you know 20, 30, 40 years. Um, and when they start realizing, like, man, I really gotta, I gotta apply myself. Uh, a lot of people just kind of uh, bail on that. So, Chris, I don't, I, I don't think it's too late for anybody, but it's that's all within uh, your mindset. Um, Antoine is saying, uh, I already did CCNA before, but never my Network Plus. Do you think it's essential to get Network Plus or just keep focusing on CCNA? And let me say a resounding CCNA. Uh, you, if, you, if you've got a CCNA, especially in the past, um, don't do Network Plus. Uh, Network Plus is kind of like welcome to the world of networking. I mean, it, actually, Keith Barker put that series together, and it's a great series. Um, but it's a lot of uh, – it's, it's going to be a lot of – if you've already gotten a CCNA, you're going to be like, oh, wow. I mean, it's, it's, I would say it's going to be like um, – um, like, okay, here's, here's a good one. Uh, 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 microwaves, right? Like you've got a microwave and you've been using it for years. Um, you don't really need to know the nitty gritty of how a microwave works, but you're really curious. Um, that's kind of like what network plus <laughs> network plus is, is you, you've been doing networking for years and you're like, oh, well, oh, well, that's kind of cool. That's, that's how that works. Okay. It won't really benefit your career. It'll just be kind of like, oh, that's, that's interesting. Uh, Kaya, K-Y-O-W, K-Y-A-W is asking, do I need job experience before doing CCNA routing and switching? No, you don't. And that's actually uh, why I created a lot of this IT expertise is that I was seeing that gap between people that would get a CCNA because you can get a CCNA without job experience. You need some hands-on, but you can get that without having a job. But then the gap that I was trying to fill was, okay, what happens after you get your CCNA? Welcome to this IT expertise world. Uh, Amar is saying, Jeremy, I'm CCIE. What after that? Amar, you've arrived. <laughs> um, meaning, uh, what I would actually suggest, what I actually found really interesting for me, uh, because I got a CCIE, and I was like, okay, I, I asked the same question. Okay, what, what next? I've kind of got my PhD in Cisco, if you will. Uh, go design. Go design. Uh, meaning, CCDE, I think, would be really intriguing for you, Amar, um, because... There's a big gap between I'm a ninja at implementing things and I'm a ninja at solving problems, which is what a CCIE really is, um, and I'm a ninja at figuring out how to do this all the right way from the beginning or how to take something that's really messed up and uh, funnel it all into the right way. I think you'd have a kick with that. Um, Pavel, 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 Pavel. Now, what do I do after CCNP and five years of experience? Where do I evolve? To a manager? Try and open a company. What now? That is a good question. That is a good, good question. Um, so you're. Let me let me say it a different way. You're in IT. You've kind of like it's kind of like Amar. He's like I'm a CCIE. What now? I've arrived. Um, and and same thing same thing with uh, Paval is is kind of like well I've arrived. I'm I'm a CCMP. Five years of experience. I'm I'm doing a job. I'm. It's kind of like it's good. But where where do I go now? Um, do I start a company? Um, that, that's the question I actually asked myself uh, eight years ago, and I did start a company. 
Um, and I would not recommend it for, for everybody. Um, meaning, um, starting a company, uh, you have to be a special person. And and I have gone through a lot starting a company that I'm like, man, if I would have known what it takes to do this, and it and the company is doing well. I mean, it's 20, 26 people now. Um, and but I'm like, man, if I would have known how much work is involved in this, it, you know. I would have really counted the cost. Now I'm happy I'm here. I'm happy I've gone through a lot of, of growth and learning. But uh, but but if I if I let me just say this: if I would have known uh, now what I what then what I know now, you know what I'm trying to say, right? Uh, I would have probably said, "Good grief! Oh no, I'll I'll go the easy way. I'm glad I didn't." But but uh, that's that's what I would say. So uh, what do I do? That's where I would say um, look at look at your interests and. Um, Man, I, I, there's so many thoughts I have. It's almost, it's almost like I want to sit down with Paval and Amal, Amar and just uh, hang out for, for like coffee because there's a lot that I could say. But I would say biggest thing is find something that's really interesting to you and build it. And that's how most businesses start. Um, build it and, and tinker and, and be like, hey, is there that business need? Like I was talking about just a moment ago. Okay, mo I can talk more on that later. Andrew, will there be an exam for this new course? Andrew, I am actually not sure that we've had those conversations many times. Do we create our own certification for IT expertise? And this, this is the big thing. And that I'm kind of taking a leap of faith in creating IT expertise. Right now, there is there is no exam. There's questions and Q&A that I ask throughout the series, like you know questions that you answer uh, in the series. Um, but I'm like, do, do we take this the whole way? And, and I, almost at a gut level, I'm like, Am I undoing what I'm trying to do with IT expertise? You know, to where I'm like, you know, it's not about an exam. It's it's about you know really doing it in the real world. And and so, if there is a certification, and I think there would be, it would be very different than the kind of certifications we have right now. Like literally, you know, it, like the CCIE is totally different from all other certifications. Um, just because you have to actually fly out to Cisco and do it, I'm trying to figure out a way. And I would love if you guys could think of this with me. You know, send me something on Twitter, something. Um, how can you show and prove that people are really doing this stuff and being successful? And, and you know, it's almost like we need like a social thing, like a, just a, a big collaborative thing, Andrew. So that's where my thoughts are at. So great question. Um, Human is saying, watching videos, books, hands-on labs, takes ages to finish. What's the fastest way to be prepared for certification? Uh, it, <laughs> I don't know. It's, that's like um, you know, when I was in school and, and they're like, well, here's, here's the book. Uh, exam's going to be on To Kill a Mockingbird. And I'm like, that's a, that's a big book, my friend. I don't want to read To Kill a Mockingbird. And I got the cliff notes. And... But I'll, I'm not, I told you I did, I did terrible my first year in school, so I'll leave it at that. Uh, best way to get into networking. Um, best way to get into networking was what I just mentioned a moment ago. Uh, find things that people need, even in your own house, uh, and start tinkering. You know, I was saying go to a church and, you know, look at a church and say, hey, you know, looks like they need wireless. I, I'm, the, the reason I just honed in on churches is because... Uh, it's so open, you, it, you know, like you can't walk into Staples or Office Max or Walmart and walk around and be like, oh, it looks like you need some wireless. I mean, you're dealing with corporate then. At a church, it's just people. It's friendly people, and you, you can find all kinds of needs there. So that would be the, the best way. How can I decide? Uh, SWAD is saying, how can I decide which networking field to take? I only did CCNA writing and switching. Should I go CCNA, start a different, uh, or sorry, CCMP, or start a different CCNA? Um, Depends where, where uh, and I hate saying depends at the beginning of every question, but it really does on where you're at in your career. Um, are you looking for a career? Are you looking to start a career? If so, I would say go wide. Uh, get a bunch of CCNAs because uh, then that opens the door for you to say, I've got security, I've got voice, I've got routing and switching, and you can go in the depth when you actually get hired somewhere. If you're hired somewhere and you want to progress, then I would say go CCNP and get become you know more uh, ninja-like there. Oh, these lots of questions keep coming in. Let me. I'm gonna. Uh, let's do five more, and then 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 we'll have to uh, uh, put the line in the sand there. Um, is IT expertise uh, is equivalent to what certification or level? Um, right now, I would say, if you can get through the IT expertise levels that I'm setting up, you would be. If I if I they're really not equivalent because they cover different stuff. Um, CCNA, for example, covers a lot of depth, but you don't need that depth most of the time. You don't need, for example, 
uh, to deploy OSPF at most of the businesses that, that you'll go into when you first start getting started, right? And you won't need to deploy OSPF for years after you go there. You might get into OSPF, you know, as you grow there or as you get into the data center or something like that, but, you know, so, that you, so you'll learn stuff with CCNA. You just don't use right away. So IT expertise is more of like, it's the CCNA that you use. Is that, is that helpful? It's like, it's like, here's literally what you need to go get a job. Here's what you'll do at 90% of the jobs that you get when you first start. Um, the, the other 10% would be you know, CCNA stuff that you would cover. Uh, so another, do I do Network Plus or straight into CCNA? I'm a big CCNA guy uh, just because, <laughs> of course, I teach it. Um, but um, beyond that, it's a lot more directly applicable. Like I can, I can take the knowledge from CCNA set up a router and do it right then. Whereas uh, Network Plus is a lot more like, oh, well, you know, here's, here's the theory. Here's, here's where it came from. Here's how it works. It's a, it, it, like, it, I think, the microwave. It's like you've got the microwave. Do you use it to, to heat food, or do you really want to know how the microwave works? I mean, th there's no right answer to that. It depends on what perspective you're taking. Brian is saying, when going after jobs, how do you get past the filters when you have the experience, but you don't have the certification? That's a great question. Um, and that I will talk to you with my business owner hat on. When I put a posting out, I literally get hundreds, if not close to a thousand applicants for, for that posting, uh, just because, you know, I posted on a couple places. And I mean, from a, a, a you know, perspective of a business, it's literally overwhelming. It's, it, regardless of how do you make your resume stand out, it's not that you, you I don't think you can. You have to you have to go beyond the I'm sending in a resume. I mean, literally, if you really want to work at a company or find a company and you see a posting there, I would suggest maybe just as a minimum start, take that resume and walk it in the door to that company. And just say, hey, there was a job posting. I just really wanted to hand this in because I didn't want to be a number in your system and just you know just to say hi and meet somebody and is there anybody you know something like that or you know. I'm not I'm not going uh, creepy here, but I would go creepy. You know, I would start looking at that company and see if there's anybody I know and start stalking them. Um, not not literally, I don't think. Um, but you know, like who do I know? Who can I befriend at that company? Who maybe could get me in the door? Those kind of things. Because at the end of the day, Brian, it's totally about relationships. Um, it's if you're trying to just make your resume stand out, you know, pink paper would do it. You know, but but that pink paper would literally have to get in their hands somewhere. It, you know, so anyway, I could talk more about that. Um, what is the difference between Cisco for the real world and IT expertise series? Uh, Michael, that's actually a great question. Um, I, I totally forgot about Cisco for the real world. That was my first, that, that series that I created was in response to that student 10 years ago. Literally, direct response. I was like, oh my goodness, uh, I need to fix something. And so I created something I called Cisco for the real world or CCNA for the real world, I think is actually what I called it. Um, I think I created that about six years ago um, or so. And that, that was my first, like, oh, something's broken in our education system. And it's literally taken me this long to actually arrive and also get CBT Nuggets to be like, yeah, I, we, we agree, Jeremy. So that's, that's pretty much it. So IT expertise is a lot more hands-on. It's a lot more, I mean, IT expertise is literally me going into a business recording the deployment of a new network. So you literally see video of everything. Real world is, is just kind of uh, uh, slides that are on the similar topics, right? Uh, 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 next one, actually, uh, this, this question would be a great one, and maybe CBT Nuggets is listening to this. Tony is saying, next webinar, coffee chit chat. I am, I think that would be a killer webinar. No agenda, <laughs> just come on in and, and let's just talk, I, you know, honestly, I know I'm, I'm kind of laughing, but I'm kind of not when I think about that, Tony. I'd, I'd love to just, maybe we could even do like a video session and, and we could just have, um, you know, I, I even brew up some coffee, get the little espresso machine. Yeah, I think that'd be, that'd be awesome. Cool. Um, one more, and I'll, I'm, I'm so sorry, guys. They're, they just keep coming and I'm not going to be able to get to all of them. So I'm going to uh, do one more on Richard. Uh, Richard is saying, what is your opinion on further academic degrees beyond a bachelor's, like pursuing a master's? And if you already have a lot of IT certs with over 15 years of experience. Um, 
So it, it it depends um, on on what you're what you're going after. So um, I'll rephrase your question, and I think we'll all be talking the same language. Sometimes I just have to say it out loud for myself. Jeremy, what's your opinion of you know I've got a bachelor's, I've got some certifications, I've got a job, you know, like going after a master's for for advancement. Um, what I would say is I would do that if I knew it was going to get me an advancement. Meaning, I'm working, and it's usually the government. Uh, the government is like, hey, to get to position X, you've got to have a master's degree. Um, then I would say, okay, that, that's my sights, and that's what I'm going to get my master's degree for. Um, the reason why I say that is two reasons. One, uh, my neighbor, actually, <laughs> about uh, two years ago, uh, got a master's degree. He actually got a, an MBA, uh, similar. Um, and he was unemployed until about two months ago. He, I mean, he was a great guy, had a bachelor's, had a master's, and he still couldn't find a job. It's kind of like he invested tens of thousands of dollars in a master's degree, but at the end of the day, he still couldn't find a job. And he finally found a job, and they would have hired him. I, I, I don't want to tell you because I don't want you to find who my neighbor is, but it's, it's a, a job that he could have gotten, I would say, without a degree at all, but you know that he could have gotten with a bachelor's. So... That would be example number one. Example number two is I just hired a guy with a master's degree, um, and he is great, um, and he is at the same rate as a guy who didn't have a college education at all. And, and what, what, I'm, what I'm saying is um, a master's degree in today's world uh, doesn't mean as much as it did back in the day unless you're in certain circles. There are certain circles um, and it, like I said, it's primarily government, which it's like they've written the regs. You're not getting around that, and so you got to have a master's degree. So uh, beyond uh, academic, beyond you, you know what I'm saying, right? That's that's what I've got. So uh, many other questions in the list, uh, but I so appreciate you guys coming and hanging with me. And I'm thinking, I'm thinking next webinar is called Coffee Chit Chat, and we just come like the the number of questions here are so much, and there's so much. Good stuff. I'm seeing some people that are like, I'm, you know, I'm down for that. I'm, I'm me, me too. I, I think that'd be cool. All right. So with that being said, I will hand it back over to the webinar powers that be to end the webinar. But uh, thanks, guys. Thanks so much for coming. Talk to you soon. Bye.